So far, we've looked at conduction and convection, and both of these methods need particles to transfer heat. But heat manages to get to us from the sun, and there's definitely no particles in space. It's a vacuum. So how does the heat from the sun get to us? Well, it travels as radiation, infrared radiation, or heat radiation, to be precise. So, let's look more at this process for heat transfer of radiation. We actually find that different colours are better at emitting heat than others. Now, all hot objects emit heat radiation, and this is a physics term of hot. What it essentially means is any object above zero degrees Kelvin, or minus 273 degrees Celsius. That's what us physicists mean by hot. So anything above that emits heat. However, it will also be absorbing heat radiation. And it's only if it's hotter than surroundings that it's actually going to be emitting heat overall. So let's add some boiling water to this cube to make it hotter than the surroundings. And let's see what happens. First, let's look at the shiny silvery side. And we can see that's really rubbish at emitting radiation. There's hardly any waves coming out of there at all. If we then turn to the white shiny side, we see that's only marginally better. Still pretty rubbish at emitting radiation. The matte white side, slightly better, but still pretty rubbish. And let's go round to the shiny black side, and we see all of a sudden that is emitting a fair bit of heat now, but now if we turn around again and we see the matte black side, we can see that is going like crazy. That is emitting loads of heat radiation. And we can see from this that matte black is the best colour at emitting heat radiation. So, what colour is going to be best at absorbing heat radiation? We've seen that matte black is definitely the best emitter, but what colour is going to be the best absorber? So there's a really easy experiment for this. We have a nice heat source in the form of a fire, and we can stick, using just some wax, two marbles onto a couple of plates. One plate with a shiny surface, and one plate with a matte black surface. So, whichever surface absorbs the most heat radiation is going to melt the wax the fastest, and therefore the marble will drop quickest. So which one do you think it'll be? Well, let's look and see what happens. Well, first off, I can notice that the shiny silvery surface is reflecting away all of the radiation. The matte black surface seems to be absorbing all that radiation. So I'm going on the... Oh, um, there we go. The matte black fell off way in advance of the shiny silvery one. The shiny silvery one is still pretty stuck on there. And we can see why. It's because matte black is absorbing all that radiation, shiny silvery is reflecting it. So what's the key information for us to have here? Well, when heat needs to transfer across a vacuum, the only way it can do it is by radiation. We've also seen that matte black is the best absorber and emitter of radiation. And that's why if we want something to heat up really, really quickly or something to cool down really, really quickly, we colour it matte black. We also saw that shiny silvery surfaces we're the worst at both absorbing and emitting radiation. And that's why if we want something to stay hot, or if we want something to stay cold, we use a shiny silvery surface.